Hey, welcome to Thrift Shop. What's the best phono cartridge you've ever heard? Today we're going to talk about the Nagaoka MP300 Phono Cartridge. Alright, I have to admit, I am not a big fan of the Nagaoka brand. A long time ago I had the MP110 and quickly decided it was not the cartridge for me. Perhaps the issue was not the cartridge, but the turntable or system synergies. At the time, I was an Audio-Technica fanboy, so perhaps the other, that was the other bias going against Nagaoka. Fast forward a little bit, I find a super discounted Nagaoka MP300 for sale on eBay and made a quick purchase. I was hesitant to say the least, given my prior experience. After experience, the Audio-Technica AT740ML tragedy, I honestly feared the worst. Another expensive moving magnet cartridge uh, didn't feel right. I assumed they would sound similar based on the same gold-plated styling. It's funny sometimes how the look can bias one based on its based on your prior experiences. The Nagaoka MP300 is not cheap, with a retail price of $775. This is right at the very top of what I will spend on a phono cartridge, which is the price of gold. It comes in at a hefty 8 grams, so make sure it works with your tone arm. The output voltage is a tad low compared to other moving magnet cartridges coming in at 3 millivolts. So if you can have just the slightest increase in gain, you'll get a lot out of this cartridge. It also has an elliptical stylus on a boron cantilever. I was really excited to use a cartridge that had a boron cantilever although I wasn't excited to pay this much. I quickly installed the MP300 without any issues, although after installing on a second turntable, you should know the cartridge height can be an issue for certain fixed VTA turntables. I did try a variety of head shells with different weights to see which one would work best, and I found that a heavier head shell worked best with this cartridge. When I started listening, I immediately noticed a difference in sound, and it wasn't a slight difference. The music coming from this cartridge is immediately heard and simply profound. You realize how quick or fast this cartridge is. It provides for extremely tight drum hits and clarity throughout the frequency response. While the sound is lightning fast, you get a good sense of cymbal hit decay. It also provides this lightning quick speed without sounding analytical, like a few other cartridges sound. While most moving magnet cartridges are not the best for soundstage, this is up there with the best moving coil cartridge I have. Not only does this cartridge provide for a wide soundstage, but you also get an incredible sense of depth. One notable album I should mention is one by Wage War. Probably not anyone's must-have list, but certainly a band that I do enjoy. I got a sense of growl from this cartridge that I've not heard before. While the metal genre might not be the best to pick out layers and separation of instruments, the music does have a lot of good information, and if mixed well, can be heard on a good audio system. Not every cartridge is good for metal. The most common album I use to demonstrate soundstage is Divisions by Starset. Modern rock metal band by Fearless Records probably has the most amazing binaural recording that I've ever heard. While probably not your favorite band or someone you've ever heard of, it should be on your list to buy. At the end of the day, any pho phono cartridge over $500 would need to deliver something really special. I also understand that many audiophiles spend a lot more money on phono cartridges. 
but you really want to have a certain brand or certain type of cartridge to spend that kind of money. This comes down to choices. What you spend on your phono cartridges comes down to your choices and selection of your audio system. Some people spend more on the turntable, less on the phono preamp and the cartridge. Some will spend more on the phono cartridge and less on the turntable. These are all difficult choices because without a good turntable or preamp, the best cartridge can sound horrible. My experience is that you need to have an equal value of your turntable, phono preamp, and cartridge for good synergy. If you have made all other investments into your system and wonder what cartridge might work for you, then look no further than the Nagaoka MP300. Heck, go for the MP500. Now most of you are thinking, I'm in audiophiles, and audiophiles use moving coil cartridges. I like to send out this, I would like to send out this challenge. If you only use moving coil cartridges and you want to test it, try the Nagaoka MP300 and I, you will be surprised. Hey, take care. Thanks from the thrift shop. See you later. Mm -hmm.